Downstairs. Right, hello and welcome. <clears throat> I hope you can hear me. Um, this is a nice bit of kit. This is a Mercedes Sprinter 313, 130 brake horsepower, three and a half ton gross weight. Accommodates all the Class B licenses. Uh, it's come direct off the Yorkshire Ambulance Service. It was used as a ambulance instant response vehicle. Um, it's done 147,000 miles. It's tested until April the 23rd of next year. And um, on my um, MOT history check analysis, it's looking pretty clean, uh, just like the vehicle. So, it's a proper crew cab, this one is. Walking around here. So, we haven't de-stickered it yet because we're not sure if someone that's going to buy it is going to use it for animal publication again. But of course, if indeed you're not, we can de-sticker it, we can machine post the whole thing. And if it came to it, we could probably paint the whole thing for £2,500 as well. But there you have it. So, this will be published on the website. So this is the inspection report that we do on every vehicle. This will be published on the website. This is just like a brief introduction of what to expect if you were to buy this van. Um, and maybe give you a little bit of confidence to buy it without coming to see it. So the whole way around, it's got Michelin tyres, they're pretty much brand new on the back, and they're about 85% tread on the front. In the cab, it's really clean. Um, jumping in here. It's got pretty much everything in the cab. The only thing that lets it down is it doesn't have air conditioning, but hey, you can't run them off. Full tank of diesel. Always a bonus. Starts up lovely. To go over ahead and without getting run over by someone over there. Let us have a look at the engine bay and have a good listen. As you can see, it was originally white when it came out of the factory, but of course, it's coming in this luminous yellow from the ambulance service. It really does sound sweet, and it? it drives amazing. It's just a terrific van. So, underneath, underneath the double passenger seat, you'll find all the ambulancey stuff, which we've kept in because it's still um, in good working order, by the way. And if you were to buy this van as a crew van for work and all that sort of stuff, you could leave this in; it won't affect the work vehicle in any way. This here is a battery charger, so you'll notice on the outside it's got 240 volt hookup. That comes into this little charger here, and that converts it from 240 to 12 volts to charge the chassis battery, which of course is the case in the You've got all the wheel, cha wheel changing stuff in there as well. Let's get that back on. Yeah, take a look guys. This is a really clean man. So, into the back. There's no side step, so you have to do a little bit of a hop. It's not too high up, even though it is a real world drive van. Seats all nice. So in total, we got one, two, three, six seats. This thing here is released to the back charger and the two foot hook up, which is on the other side of this wall. See, it's such a really, really nice finishing here. Um, as always, I like to see vans be converted to camper vans, but it might be a bit of a shame to rip all this out. So if you were thinking about doing it for that application, it'd be nice to keep some of this stuff in. I quite like this reading lamp up here. Amsterdam mode is also available. Right. Fire extinguisher. So. Into the back. Obviously we've got a plywood partial bulkhead. Just take a look guys, this has really been done by a professional. It certainly wasn't done by me. You've got your marine fire on the floor. Door clamps. A really nice finish. This is probably the best vehicle I've bought in six months because if something that's come in, all I have to do is probably put a new MOT on it, service it, and don't have to do anything else to it. Thank oh God. So, there you have it, guys. And if I get a bit of availability later on in the workshop, I will pick it up on the ramp over there and show you what it's like underneath because I had it in there last night. When it first came in, whilst I was doing my inspection report, and I'll tell you what, it's incredible. So yeah, hope this video finds you well, hope it was informative, and uh, look forward to hearing from you.